Hi, Rachel Carroll with the Carroll Home Team here. I want to talk to you today about what you need to know about living in Vero Beach. What is life like for the locals here? What are some of the reasons why someone would want to move to Vero Beach, Florida? Stay tuned because I'm gonna take you on a journey around this gem of a town and the place that my family calls home. So in this video, I'm going to cover a few different talking points. Think home price, cost of living, communities, lifestyle, weather, and more. All right, let's go. If you find this content helpful, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell so that you get notification every time I drop a new video. Also, if you are new to the area or if you're thinking about moving to the area, leave me a comment below and request specifically either our buyer's guide or our local's guide. It's a free guide that I can send to you, um, give you more information about what does the process look like if you wanna purchase here in our area. And our local's guide, our new local's guide, is gonna tell you everything about our favorite local spots in Vero Beach and our favorite vendors. So if you want that, make sure that you leave me a comment below. So what does living like a local mean here in Vero Beach? Well, first thing you need to know is that Vero Beach is a great town. Um, it's a small size city. I like to refer to it as a, a town because it has a really nice, like humble um, community feel to it not too big, we don't have too much traffic, but Vero Beach more specifically, I like to describe it as a sophisticated coastal town where blue collar meets billionaire. So it's really got a neat mix of different types of people and different types of things that you can do. So here in Vero Beach, we have so many different things that you can get yourself into. We've got a world-class art museum, one of my personal favorites. We've got scenic wildlife preserves, sophisticated street shopping, um, the best Atlantic coast beaches, hands down. Our city offers a wide range of activities to satisfy everyone's interests. There are numerous golf courses. We've got walkable restaurants and bistros. I mentioned earlier, we have some great boutiques and shopping. Uh, we have an outlet mall. We've got a plethora of year-round lifestyle sports that you can enjoy at your leisure. There's a lot of great um, clubs that you can join or little groups that you can join, uh, people who get out regularly and are active enjoying this beautiful sunshine that I'm standing here enjoying myself. There's also some really nice local breweries here um, if that fits your fancy. And like myself, uh, I like to partake in a lot of the nice public parks. Uh, I take my children to them every weekend. So there's like a lot of natural beauty that you can tap into here year round really. And the last thing that I wanna mention on this topic is we have some world-class spas and beach resorts. Really beautiful. Um, even if you're not from out of town, uh, you can take advantage of them. A lot of our locals, including myself and my husband, like to go to some of the nice restaurants and dining inside of the resorts or just maybe have a staycation. Definitely taking advantage of those world-class spas. It's really nice. So as you can tell, Vero Beach really offers a wide range of different um, activities, themes, um, events, things that you can get into. All right, now that I've painted the picture of things that you can do here in Vero Beach in your free time, let's talk about what is it really like to live here, maybe some more specifics about cost of living, um, things like that. So in Vero Beach, we are on the Atlantic coast. The sun is going to rise around 7, 7.30 in the morning. 
and it's going to set in between like 6.30 or 7 o'clock. Of course, daylight savings changes things a little bit, but that's about what you can expect if you do want to catch the sun rising over the beach or the sun setting over the river. Um, it's totally possible to do and always breathtaking. As somebody who has lived multiple different places in our wonderful country, I would consider Vero Beach a very reasonably priced place to live and a very affordable place to live. Our average home price here is $290,000. Again, that's our average home price and our cost of living is about 19% lower than the national average. So when I say cost of living, I'm talking about general um, home expenses, uh, utilities, things like that, about 19% lower than that national average, just for some context. Vero Beach is a really cool little city. It's kind of got this laid back but also sophisticated um, feeling with a very artistic flair, believe it or not. And of course, the people who live here and the locals here in Vero Beach love most of all this. Behind me is so incredible. It is so beautiful. It is so pleasing just to be here even talking to you shooting this video now. Um, so that's really one of the things that you get to take advantage of when you live here and you are a local here in Vero Beach. Obviously, as a local real estate agent here, I am very well acquainted of all of the different options and areas that you can live in. Um, briefly, I'll just touch on um, Vero Beach does have some different pockets, different types of communities, depending on your lifestyle and what you're going for. We have some areas that are in general traditional neighborhoods. We also have um, some homeowners associations, and I'm talking about single family homes here. Of course, we have uh, condominium options, townhouse options, but as far as single family communities, we do have um, homeowners association communities. Some are gated, some are not. Um, you know, where you have a homeowners association that uh, kind of uh, monitors and oversees the operations of that community um, and we've got a lot of really really nice beautiful options at many different price ranges and those types of communities that you can take advantage of um, we also have some really nice communities that are located on the water where you can have boat access we've got on the barrier island which i'm on the mainland now but on our barrier island we have um, homes that are also located directly on the ocean we've got also a little bit inland other um, rivers and streams and um, canals that you can have a home on you can own a kayak uh, because some of them are not navigable but you can still own a kayak you can still fish watch the wildlife enjoy all of that stuff as well Another thing that I want to mention to you as well is our seasons. So here in Florida or this like semi-tropical area that we're in in Florida, actually Vero Beach marks the line of the tropics where the tropics begin south. So we get that really wonderful tropical weather and the tropical flora and fauna. Our seasons are not the traditional um, summer, fall, winter, spring. Here we have really a delineation of two seasons, or at least what the locals like to call two seasons. So we have our off season and our on season. Our off season is typically from May to about October, and you'll see a lot of our secondary homeowners leave and they go summer elsewhere and then they all return and we'd have a, a, a population jump here in our area um, in between the months of like end of October and November through about April. So that typically tends to be our season. Now in the summer, it does get hot. So let's talk about the weather. It does get hot here in the summer. We are in the tropics, we are in Florida. You can see our temperatures peak around 90 degrees with humidity so it does get hot 
Um, but it does get down a pretty cool in the summer. Sometimes it can uh, drop down into the 70s. Now in season, we get to enjoy probably some of the best weather in the whole country. So in season, you can expect uh, temperatures to hover in the low 70s with a light breeze. That would be what I'm standing in here today. Um, and then we can drop as low as in the mid 50s. At night, it can get pretty cool. Not typically cold, but cool. So I hope that gives you a feel, if you are not already local here, what it is like to be a local here. Maybe some of the things that you could picture yourself doing if you lived here or getting into or enjoying for yourself. Obviously, Vero Beach is a wonderful place just to come visit as well. So if that fits your fancy, come on down. We've got some great places for you to stay and a lot of wonderful things for you to do when you get here. Again, if there is any information at all that myself or a member of my team can share with you about living here or potentially finding a home of your own here in our area, please let us know. We're here to serve our community well. We want to be of service. We want to help. We want to be your real estate resource in the area. And again, don't forget, if you want my free buyer's guide or my free locals guide, leave me a comment below and I'll shoot that over to you in a quick email. And again, if you want to get in touch with us, the number to call is 772-494-5422. 772-494-5422. Give us a call. We're happy to chat with you. So what do you think? Could you see yourself living here? Comment below. Let me know if I missed anything too. I love comments. I love add-ons. I'm sure I didn't hit every single thing in this one video. There are so many things that I think are wonderful about this city that I would just love to talk to you all about all day if we had the time. So please feel free, interact with me, leave comments. The more we share, the more we can paint a picture of just how great life can be here in Vero Beach, Florida. Thank you guys.